Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chef Pam and this is Chef and More. And today we are going to be making Southern style cornbread dressing. Yes. And if you want to learn how to make all kind of homemade food and dishes, the easy and simple way, subscribe so that you'll always get my videos and don't forget to tap that bell. That way, you'll always be notified. We're going to get started right now. Okay guys, so to start off with, we have cornbread. Now I've already made the cornbread earlier this morning. It's just your basic cornbread recipe. I'll show that another day, but for now we have our cornbread and we're just crumbling it up. This is probably uh, the size of this cornbread that I made, was made in an 8x8 pan. Okay, so to this uh, cornbread, after it's all crumbled, we're going to add some seasoned breadcrumbs. Now you can make your own breadcrumbs. I just picked up a pack of seasoned breadcrumbs just to make it quick and easy for everyone. So once you dump that in the bowl, guys, you just wanna mix it up really well. Make sure it's well combined. Get all the way to the bottom of the bowl. Okay. Now we're going to get our vegetables. We have the Holy Trinity here, which is onion, celery, and green pepper. All right, I've already started. I'm using my food processor for this. It's going to make it again quick and easy. You can always chop it up yourself into small bite-sized pieces. So I'm just gonna go ahead, get this chopped up. Then we'll get on to the next thing. Okay, it's all chopped up, guys. You'll be able to see it in a minute. I'm just going to put it in this large skillet because we're going to saute it next. I'm going to add about a cup of um, chicken broth to it. Actually, it's turkey broth because it's homemade. So I'm going to actually put this in the skillet and I'll show it to you in just a second. Let me get all of this out of my bowl here. Then we'll head over to the stove to get it nice and fork tender. Take a look, guys. Yes. Okay, so now we're just sauteing it. This is just everything that I had in my bowl that I just chopped up. And we just want it cooked just enough until it's tender. You don't want it mushy. Now we're going to go ahead and just pour everything, the broth and the sauteed onion, green pepper and celery right on top of our cornbread and breadcrumb mixture. This is pretty much all we're going to be putting in here besides our seasoning and an egg to hold it together. So again, guys, you want to take everything and get it well combined. Make sure that it's all mixed up. We're going to be adding sage, salt, and black pepper. Okay, so I'm going to mix this up really well. Again, you want to incorporate it from the bottom so that you'll make sure that all of your green pepper, celery, and onion are mixed all the way through. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix this up, then we'll get our seasonings in. That should do it. Let's get our sage in. Now guys, you want to put enough sage in it so that it's going to start to taste like dressing. But again, with seasonings, it's going to be to taste. You may not want yours as strong as I do, or you may want it a little bit stronger. So I'm going to put in the black pepper next and the salt. I'm going to mix it together, then give it a quick taste. Always taste while you're cooking, guys. That way you'll know if you need to add something else or what maybe you have left out. Okay, so again, you want to get into the bottom of your bowl so that you can make sure it's all mixed together properly. So we're just going to mix this together, then give it a quick taste to see where we are on our seasoning so that we'll know if we need to add anything else or what's next. Okay, guys, so here we go with the egg. We're going to put an egg in it. Now, we don't need but one egg. The only thing this egg is doing, and I'm lightly beating it here, the only thing this egg is doing, it's going to hold the dressing together so that once it's cooked, 
and you go in to get a spoonful, it just won't fall all apart on you. Okay, so now I'm going to get this mixed up in here as well. Get it very well combined. Then, as you see here, sitting to your right, there is a large bowl of broth. This is actually broth that I prepared from my turkey giblets and neck. So I'm just going to add a few spoons in here to incorporate it. You don't want your dressing to be dry. So I'm just going to add a few uh, spoons full. And guys, there's nothing better to go with dressing than gravy. So if you look right up above, you'll see my recipe for homemade brown gravy. And that's what I'm going to be using the rest of that broth from. I'm going to use that to make my homemade gravy to go with my turkey and my dressing. Okay, again, mix it up really, really, really well. And you can always give it another taste. Just like this, guys. See what you need, and I need more sage. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more sage in here, and then we should be pretty much okay with it. I like to pour it, just go ahead and pour it in. Is that little shaker? It's a little bit slow. Add a little bit more of the broth, and then we're gonna mix it up really well again. Okay, I think that's good enough. Take a look, guys. Yes, doesn't that look good? So I'm just going to fill my bowl here, and we're going to bake it in a 350-degree preheated oven for approximately 30 minutes or until the top starts to turn golden brown. And that's it, guys. We're done. I'm going to get this in here, and once I get it in the bowl, I'm going to add another spoonful of the broth on the top. We just want to keep it nice and moist, but you don't want to add too much broth so that it won't be wet. Let me set that aside and just spread this out in the pan. And then, like I said, we're going to add one spoon of broth over the top. Okay, put this one spoonful on it, then we're going to get it in our oven, bake it until it's golden brown, and guess what guys, we are done. Yes, awesome sauce. Okay guys, take a look, there is our homemade southern cornbread dressing all ready to go. Yes, look at that guys, it's fresh out of the oven and it's nice and golden brown. Doesn't that look good? Guys, and if you like these home style videos and how to cook videos, give me a thumbs up, leave me some comments, subscribe, and tap that bell so you'll always be notified. And guys, I have my aprons and hats all ready to go. The links will be in the description. Take a look. I really did enjoy cooking with you guys today. Thank you so much for coming out and hanging out with me. I really do appreciate each and every one of you all. And I will see you next time.